An F-type main sequence star FV is a main sequence hydrogen fusing star of spectral type F and luminosity class 5. These stars have from 1.0 to 1.4 times the mass of the sun and surface temperatures between 6000 and 7600 K tables 7 and 8. This temperature range gives the F-type stars a yellow-white hue. Because a main sequence star is referred to as a dwarf star, this class of star may also be termed a yellow-white dwarf. Famous examples include Procyon A, Gamma Virginis A and B, and KIC 8462852. Topic spectral standard stars The revised Yerkes Atlas system Johnson and Morgan 1953 listed a dense grid of F-type dwarf spectral standard stars, however, not all of these have survived to this day as standards. The anchor points of the MK spectral classification system among the F-type main sequence dwarf stars, i.e. those standard stars that have remained unchanged over years and can be used to define the system, are considered to be 78 Ursae Majoris F2V and Pi 3 Orionis F6V. In addition to those two standards, Morgan and Keenan 1973 considered the following stars to be dagger standards, HR 1279 F3V, HD 27524 F5V, HD 27808 F8V, HD 27383 F9V, and Beta Virginis F9V. Other primary MK standard stars include HD 23585 F0V, HD 26015 F3V, and HD 27534 F5V. Note that two Hyades members with almost identical HD names HD 27524 and HD 27534 are both considered strong F5V standard stars, and indeed they share nearly identical colors and magnitudes. Gray and Garrison 1989 provide a modern table of dwarf standards for the hotter F-type stars. F1 and F7 dwarf standard stars are rarely listed, but have changed slightly over the years among expert classifiers. Often used standard stars include 37 Ursae Majoris F1V and Iota Piscium F7V. No F4V standard stars have been published. Unfortunately F9V defines the boundary between the hot stars classified by Morgan, and the cooler stars classified by Keenan, and there are discrepancies in the literature on which stars define the F.G. dwarf boundary. Morgan and Keenan 1973 listed Beta Virginis and HD 27383 as F9V standards, but Keenan and McNeil 1989 listed HD 10647 as their F9V standard. Eta Cassiopeiae should probably be avoided as a standard star because it was often considered F9V in Keenan's publications, but G0V in Morgan's publications. Topic planets Some of the nearest F-type stars known to have planets include Upsilon Andromedae, Tau Bootis, HD 10647 HD 33564, HD 142, HD 60532 and Koi 3010. Topic habitability Some studies show that there is a possibility that life could also develop on planets that orbit a F-type star. It is estimated that the habitable zone of a relatively hot F0 star would extend from about 2.0 AU to 3.7 AU and between 1.1 and 2.2 AU for a relatively cool F8 star. However, relative to a G-type star the main problems for a hypothetical life form in this particular scenario would be the more intense light and the shorter stellar lifespan of the home star. F-type stars are known to emit much more higher energy forms of light, such as UV radiation, which in the long term can have a very profound and negative effect on DNA molecules. Studies have shown that placing a hypothetical planet at the same distance from an F-type star as the Earth is from the Sun would cause about 2.5 to 7.1 times more damage from UV light compared to that inflicted by the Sun. This indicates that the hypothetical planet would need to have a sufficient atmospheric shielding from the UV radiation, like an ozone layer in the upper atmosphere, in order to protect the lifeforms on the surface. Without the ozone layer life could still theoretically develop on the planet's surface, but it would most likely be confined to the underwater or underground regions. References, <references>